Okay, today we're talking about what they call the permanent match or what they're shifted to, a forever match. These things have been around in this iteration since, oh God, early 80s, maybe earlier than that. This is the first time I saw them was the early 80s, way back a long time ago. And they look the same now. And they were, oh, they weren't too expensive then. They were like 89 cents or something like that, I think. Now you see these stupid things for up to 40 bucks, the fancier ones. And they're still only the same thing. A plastic reservoir, usually wrapped in some sort of pretty metal to hold Zippo fluid or lighter fluid of some sort. A ferrosium rod. A scraper with a wick that'll hold the fuel that's stored, screw, screwed in and stored into the fuel cylinder to keep it wet with fuel. An o-ring to seal it and usually most of these that's the cheapest o-ring you can get so if you want to keep one of these long term I would advise replacing the o-ring with something that's a little more fuel friendly because these will leak out and dry after a while like a Zippo. They'll last a little longer but fuel still has a way of getting past these cheap o-rings. Been my experience. It will work like a ferro rod because that's all it is. You know, you can hold it and run sparks down. So if you've got some really good tender set up or char cloth or something, you can get it going even if it's out of fuel. So you do have a little, little ferro rod. As you can see, it's a little, little bitty one. And this is going. There it is, you can see it. Doesn't take much to get char cloth going. Just remember, it's smaller and shorter, so your sparks will be not quite as good. And these aren't the best fire seals out there. They're decent. Now where this comes into its own, it's pretty decent, is you take a little, I mean they're not bad, I can, these you can get anymore for, I think they're $3, you can buy them in bulk on Amazon for $15 for like five of them. That's the cheapest I saw here lately, I didn't look real hard. $40 for it is absolutely ridiculous because they're, they probably got 50 cents in it and somebody's making an absolute killing. To me, at three bucks, these are kind of overpriced, but they do work. Your cotton on the wick is a little fine to be using for the ferro rod if you don't have fuel in it. It's too coarse to actually get going. I actually got any fuel in there. But if you're going to carry this, just check your fuel every now and again. It's like a Zippo lighter. Zippos, they're pretty good. This, <laughs> this is basically the cheap, cheap form of a Zippo lighter. There you go. And then you can use it. It'll burn quite a while. You can use it to ignite your other fire source. Put it back in to either refuel it or put it out. Your wick can be replaced, they just, there's, they stick down in there. It's just any cotton, bit of cotton will work. They'll burn down a little. If you let it burn too long, as you burn the fuel off, then it will burn the wick down. So it's the idea, the idea is to have your fire source ready. Get it burning. 
conserve your resources and put it out. This one's kind of being stubborn. This actually isn't really that bad, but they're not, they only last as long as your fire steel does and you just have a reservoir and a striker. You can buy fire steels and, and hot glue them back in to replace it, but for three bucks, why would you bother? Go out and get another one. It, and if you, if you find them on sale, you can put a bunch of them everywhere if, you, if this is what you want to carry. This isn't usually one of my things to go to. I trust a bigger fire steel and things along that line or I'll just carry a Zippo straight out or any more Bic lighter. A Bic lighter is probably the better go to and a small Bic lighter isn't any bigger than that and they're very reliable. But these will work. Smash the subscribe button such as you would you'll feel some foe.